Hey everyone, this is Sabrina. I am going to do an Everyday Explorers project today, not the mini books, which I usually do on Mondays, but I'm gonna do a project where I show you how to use little pieces of paper to make your own patterns. I am documenting my daughter's progress with writing and I am using a stamp set called Try Your Best. To make the patterns though, I'm using the Felicia Tess stamp set called Mixed Marks. It was sold out and it should be coming back soon, but I'm using it on these little pieces of paper and I'm just doing tone on tone. So for the green paper, I did green ink. And same thing with the dark blue paper and the more teal paper. I just picked different patterns from the stamp set. So for this blue one, it was rainbows and all rainbows. The dark blue paper, it was kind of a thick line that I turned horizontal and then some more of the circles. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna punch some uh, circles and I have a scallop one and a half and then a circle one inch and I try to use every inch of this paper even if it is not going to be a full circle I just punch it anyways because I can tuck it in and figure out a way to use it so I have one horizontal photo and one vertical photo. I'm gonna go ahead and pop dot the photo of my daughter that is vertical and it's her with her writing packet. It's at the end of the school year and the horizontal one is at the beginning of the school year. And then I'm gonna start working on building my clusters. I also noticed that on that rainbow blue circle that I punched, I had a gap where the rainbows were. So the perfect solution was stamping out a little metal and then that will fill in that little gap and you can't even tell. I also am using, like I said, the try your best and I'm just figuring out where I want the different sentiments for um, the layout. And I'm gonna do most of them in, well, all of them in black ink. That way they really pop off the layout. And with this, you did it. I'm gonna go ahead and mat that on black uh, paper, just a piece of scrap that I have. I'm gonna do that in just a minute. I also stamp out um, winner, and then I will do a few more that I will stamp on the actual layout. So I did a great little cluster right there with some smaller circles and then the bigger blue circle with the rainbow and the metal. And I have the you did it all matted and I will add that to the top of the little cluster by the metal. And then below that I'll put practice makes progress. I love that Christine put that in there because I use that saying all the time especially with my kids in regards to their schoolwork. Because my daughter, when she first started writing, it was not her idea of fun. And she came so far um, with her writing in one year. And it was mostly distance learning too. So extra proud of her for sticking with her writing and doing such a great job. So I put two more clusters, one above the vertical photo and one to the left of the horizontal photo. And then I'll have a smaller one down at the bottom. And then this stamp set also has some really great stars and I will add those in a little bit. By the horizontal photo, I put a whole lot of hard, hard work and heart and a well-deserved win. And I just stamp those directly on the cardstock. Now I'm adding the stars. There's a solid one and then an outline. And I'm going to go ahead and add both of those. And then I will add some journaling down at the bottom. So I'm just finishing that up. And I love how the stars add the extra movement that I needed to kind of wrap up this spread. And I will finish, like I said, with some journaling and just talking about how truly proud I am of my daughter because I mean she was in second grade and it was time for her to you know get a little more serious with her writing and even if it wasn't her favorite she needed to you know try writing and keep going with it and she did and it was like I said through distance learning and so I'm just so so proud of her. All right, so this layout is done, and I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing how to use your stamps to make fun patterns on cardstock. I would love a thumbs up or a subscribe if you're new to my channel. Have a great day. Bye.